before that, with more than a quarter of adults in the UK saying that they don't wear sunscreen, Nadine Baggett's here to tell us why working an SPF into your beauty regime is very important, even when the weather is not playing ball. Hello. Hello. I mean, it was nice yesterday in parts of the country, wasn't it? It was beautiful somewhere in the UK, pretty much Saturday and Sunday. Right. And I bet there are a lot of people watching today who are a little bit sore around yeah. the edges. Yeah. And the truth is, the majority of Brits do not wear SPF. They keep it for holidays. Mm. And what most dermatologists are saying is you need to use it year round because UVB burns, but UVA is constant all year mm -hmm. round. And I'm going to show you something that's really good. I can't believe I'm doing this for you for the good, the love of the nation and this morning viewers. This is a Vizia scan. This morning I turned up with no makeup and I had my pictures taken with this. And what it does is it shows the sun damage underneath the skin. Prepare yourself, adult content warning, that is the pigment damage. And you can actually see where I've put my SPF on my face and missed the hairline. Look oh, at I that. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Look, so that's the sun damage that's waiting to come out in my skin. It will also show you the redness, and you can even see where I have suffered hay fever and cold sores there. That's the redness in my skin, which is the sun damage as well. And there are my lines, lovely. Oh, and just God, a this little machine's picture horrible. There. I feel like we should it, just push it off the edge. I do. So this <laughs> Who needs is the that busy, in their lives? This is the busiest scan, and actually this was supposed by Surface Image Solution, and it's actually used a lot to test whether skin products and treatments work. Yeah. So actually, I personally think knowledge is power. Yeah. And I think if I can do one thing for all these people out there, mm. Phil and I were just saying before we came back on air, our generation were not raised using an yeah. SPF. Mm. We really weren't. And actually, you were saying you've had a couple of moles removed, and you just have to keep an eye on it. Look at how it much is, sun it damage. It is important. Look at me on the surface. You think, oh, her skin's quite good. Look at what's under the surface mm. from years of me abusing my skin as a teenager. Baz Luhrmann, my wear sunscreen. Absolutely. Well, growing up in Cornwall, Obviously, yeah. you know, sort of long summers, and and uh, and I think you know our our local sun cream was probably just lard. <laughs> no I, I mean, that we no absolutely good. used to grow up using an SPF two or four. Now a dermatologist will say SPF fifty. So I'm going to show you Come some of my favourites. And what's interesting about all of them is. You don't need a moisturiser as well. They're so good nowadays that you can literally use this in place of your moisturiser. Right. Now, I'm going to show you the first one here. This is the Nivea, and this is the Cellular, and it's the anti-dark spot one here. But the reason I've picked it up is because I'm going to show you how much you need, because most people don't use enough SPF, even if they use it. Look on your face, look I at that. I want to know. There is a two-finger rule, which is essentially that... And I bet most people would not know that they need that no. much. For your face? I don't mean to flick two fingers up to the nation, but that's what you need. <laughs> well, you're sort of flicking them down. I am, I'm flicking them down. And I'm going to show you how much that is because I've stolen this from the cookery department. And that is exactly, that's half a teaspoon, but you need a third of a teaspoon for your face. Right. Third for your neck and chest. Yeah. And if you're a gentleman and you've got thinning hair, a third for your scalp as well. So it's a lot you need to it's use every day. It's a lot more than you think, isn't it? It's so much more than you think. And that's why when it's good that it's got sun, um, it's got um, skin care in yeah. it, because then you don't feel like you're adding layers upon layers upon I, layers. The, the best SPF is the SPF you use every day, and the best SPF is one that you use in place of your moisturiser. Yeah. So it's got the hyaluronic acid, it's got the antioxidants, the glycerin, all those things all we in. love. They're all there. And honestly, I promise you, they've never been nicer or easy to use. And they sit well under makeup as well. Do you remember when they used to yeah. peel under makeup? Yeah, totally. Not anymore. Let's move across. Eucerin have a brilliant one here, just to prove that you can actually get them for oily and blemish-prone skin as well. This is the Eucerin Sun Oil Control for Blemish-Prone Skin, SPF 50. $15.99. From Superdrug, super lightweight, oh. really lovely, slightly mattifying. And the same, I mean, this is across the board, this is the same amount that you use that amount. Yeah, absolutely, it makes no difference. And we're going to go and talk about makeup in a minute, and that's the reason you can't rely on makeup as your primary SPF, because you don't wear enough of it. So it's quite a lot, but they are lovely, aren't yeah, they? They're light, really nice. they're beautiful. This is the one that's currently the hot one on the market. This is the first time L'Oreal Paris have ever launched one. It's an SPF 50 and it's got vitamin C in it as well. And this is gorgeously light. This is so beautiful. Let me show you. It's almost like a serum. Look at that run down the back of my hand. Oh. But again, you need the same amount. But what I'm saying is, if you want a lightweight, that's such a great one for guys. If you want a lightweight one that's yeah. easy to wear, you can wear it right around your eyes, won't sting. Trust me, mm. and I know you can look at my pictures and think that woman's never used an SPF in her life. I have for the last 10 years because they've never been better. And the current hottest one on the block, new to Superdrug, Japan and Korea have the most lightweight skincare and they have the best SPFs. And this one, this is the Biore one, and it's just landed at Superdrug, and it's so reasonably priced. And they're often currently on offer as well. 
Really lightweight, really easy to use. But yeah. did you know you're supposed to top them up as well? How often are you supposed to top them up? Technically, you're supposed to top them up every three or four hours. The truth is, as a guy, that's not so difficult. But for us, it's Under really makeup, hard. Yeah. Mm. So I've chosen the Garnier. And this is a spray-on one that you spray on over the top. So you literally spray it over the top. You don't have to worry about reapplying mm. your makeup. But it's really lovely for guys. If you get caught out, you've got a bit of a sort of, you know, ball patch here, the top of your ears, all those places you can forget. And for women, we tend to put it on here and then we tend to forget here. I know, don't This is a chest. lovely one to put here. Now, dermatologists will say you need a dedicated SPF. I'm not going to argue with that at all. There's no problem, though, with topping it up with makeup. Uh -huh. So I've chosen a Charlotte Tilbury SPF 50 primer. The reason you're not going to rely on makeup and primer as your primary source is if you pick that little spoon up at the end there, Philip, and show yep. it to the camera again, no woman alive is using that much foundation. You're really not. So you can't get the SPF that's actually mentioned. I'm wearing that now. A lot of the makeup artists at this morning use that. I thought that it's was going to be primer. a... Um, I thought it was going to have makeup in it, but it does. it, nope. is, it is just it's it's a primer. Literally a primer, but the advantage of using a primer with an SPF in is once mm. you put your makeup on top, it stays yeah. for, for longer. That's good. And I've chosen three here. I've chosen the It Cosmetics CC Cream and an SPF 50. Beautiful top-up over a primer and an SPF. I've chosen the uh, Max Factor one, which is an SPF 30, probably better for winter days. It's a lighter coverage. And don't forget your lips yeah. as well. I suffer from cold sores. They're triggered by UV light. You have to make sure you use an SPF in mm. your lip product as well. And you were saying you particularly like this because it's I almost like, like makeup, one. isn't it? It feels, and also it feels a little bit glossy. Yeah, if I but like not you, too much. It's no. like a really nice. It's like a really nice lip balm. Yes, right, it's exactly. A lip balm or it feels a bit more. It's a lip balm. They come it's in quite shiny. Shades, is what I'm but saying. It's a pleasant one to use. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. Absolutely. And it is easy to forget. Um, again, you know, sort of growing up in 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 Cornwall, mm -hmm. we used to take visitors in, and they would come down and not bother with sun cream, sunscreens, because everybody forgets. Just because you're staying here, yeah. don't think the sun isn't powerful. It's like I was saying, over the weekend, the UV was six in the UK. Mm. That's high. That's pretty much standard mm. across Europe. But there's no excuse, really, because it, the UV rating is actually a UVB rating, which is the burning rays. But it's the UV, UVA rays that causes the sort of damage I showed you at the top, which is years of damage. And I think as though those, that image is scary for me, and it was like, and they literally told me how old my skin was. And then they had a little app that showed you ageing into the future, which mm -hmm. is really scary. But I think knowledge is power, and if you can wear an SPF and look after your skin properly, then you're literally going to sort of stop that not intrinsic ageing, but the extrinsic ageing caused by the SPF. Just, just before we go, can I ask you about blue light on yes. the phone? Does that affect your skin at all? It, it, new research is showing that it's mildly damaging. It's much more damaging to your eyes, in fact. But don't worry, a standard SPF will protect from it because mm. most of yeah. these SPFs have actually got antioxidant protection in as okay. well. So as far as your eyes are concerned, you, you have on most smartphones the ability to turn it into yes, night, night mode, mode and that yeah. takes the blue out and makes your screen a bit more sort of sepia. It's a little bit friendlier for your eyes. It also stops overstimulating your brain at night. If you're one of those people that, oh, just before mm. I go to bed, I'm just going to check my Instagram or check whatever I'm check my this morning app if you turn it to the orange night saving one then you don't overstimulate the back of the eye so you will get a better night's sleep as well very good thank you very much my pleasure well well I promise you they are nice to use well done for mentioning the app as well she's good she's <laughs> good <laughs> <laughs> because details for all of today's <laughs> products, as well as more suggestions, are available on our free This Morning app. <laughs> Just head to Shop the Show.